Okay, suppose that the graph of a linear equation has the following values. It says if we put in x equals 0, we get y equals 1. If we put in x equals 1, we get y equals negative 1. And if we substitute in x equals 3, we get y equals negative 5. We want to know what's the slope of the line. Is it negative 4, negative 2, positive 2, or positive 4? So this, again, is just kind of an, uh, an application of using that slope formula m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And to use this formula, all you need, you only need two points. Notice we've actually been given three points here. We've got the point 0 comma 1, we've got the point 1 comma negative 1, and then we also have the point 3 comma negative 5. We can use any two of these that we, that we wish. So, um, I don't know, it doesn't really matter. I'll use the 1 comma negative 1 and the 3 comma negative 5 for no particular reason, just picking two at random. So, okay, so there's going to be my x1. There, that's going to be my value of y1. There's x2. And there's y2. Okay, so let's do the change in y. So we'll do negative 5 minus negative 1, so I'm going to put that in parentheses just to make it look a little cleaner here. And then we've got 3 minus positive 1. Well, negative 5 minus negative 1, a negative and a negative will make a positive. Well, in the denominator, 3 minus 1, that's going to be positive 2. Negative 5 plus 1, that's negative 4. And a negative divided by a positive, that's going to be a negative number. 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. And that's going to be the slope of our line, negative 2. And you can check. It doesn't matter. You know, you could have used the first point and the second point, or the first point and the third point, and uh, have went through the same you know, calculation. And you would have found in all cases that the slope is equal to negative 2. So it doesn't matter you know, which which of those uh, two points that you pick.